Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, Akim, pushing this word, sincerity, and truth. I'm on the road traveling <laughs> from slavery, right? And I want to do a little quick, uh, basically, video uh, dealing with uh, basically a response to the apostle, the elder apostle Raka. Right? The name of his video was called The Lord's uh, Chess Game. All right, The Lord's Chess Game was a beautiful uh, a video by the Apostle and Elder, basically speaking on a lot of uh, experiences that he's had within his knowledge, within his walk and his truth, uh, dealing with guys uh, uh, coming and going. Even the guy that brought him into the truth, he told the story how that guy uh, ended up falling out. All right, How that guy ended up falling out. And he made a statement that uh you know a lot of us have similar stories so i'm going to share a little bit of my story and that's it and we, i'm gonna quote some scriptures because i'm driving right now uh i'm on the road but uh dealing with the lord's chess game the first scripture uh is going to be the scripture in uh proverbs which talks about a man's goings are of the lord how then can a man know his own way so with that being said you know, the Lord can use anybody in his truth. And I've seen it hey, up close and personal so you can understand. All right. Because I go back to a time, you know, 10 plus years when, uh, you know, we didn't have GMS on our names. For certain camps out here in Chicago, the name of our camp was Mapataza Amaf. Right. And the first camp I seen uh, was, which is now GMS Dallas. They were called Man Up Jacob, all right? And I bring uh, that, that camp up because of the leader, or ex-leader, uh, was Amashah Amasha Baala, known as Element, and a guy out here in Chicago by the name of Batak. Both these guys were uh, very charismatic, great speakers, uh, scripture men, uh, could recall, you know, eight, nine precepts in a row, line them up, call them out getting you give me this you give me that and break down a the bible man and and real talk a lot of the scriptures that i learned i learned from uh element all right but at the end of the day uh touching back on what the apostle Rakat, uh had, had brought out hey the lord hey he, he he's a master <laughs> of using people man he got these guys uh out of the truth and the main reason these guys were taken out of the truth was because of pride, man. Hey, the scripture says, uh, pride go up before a fall. And these guys, uh, looking back, and we've done videos on this before, were very, very prideful, man. And you, and it's, it's like, uh, I heard the apostles say this before, that none of this stuff is new to them. It's all a rerun. So you see a guy that comes up, that's a good, good at speaking, uh, you know, he knows the scriptures. He's good at exhortation. Right? But at the end of the day, if you're not humble with this information, the Lord will eventually get your ass out of here, man. He will get your uh, ass out of here, man. And I've seen that many a time. Even for the newer newer guys on the block, uh, the guy Nazariah, man. <laughs> All right? <laughs> the guy Naz Nazariah. Because... Uh, he was very, uh, you know, charismatic, very vocal. A lot of people looked to looked to him. He wanted to be the man. Uh, you know, had a lot of arrogance and a lot of pride. His right hand man uh, back in the day, Taziadia, which is a hey, that's niggas in Hollywood now making beats and raps and all this shit. He told me once that I know that man is very proud, and I felt felt bad uh, feeling that way when he first came around. You know, I felt bad when he first came around thinking that about another guy. But when his uh, right hand man confirmed it, uh, you know, it was what it was. It was confirmed, as, as I said. Uh, but the next scripture, I'm rambling on a little bit. The next scripture I'm going to go into is uh, the one of Sirach, basically speaking on uh, there is one that is wise that teacheth many, but is unprofitable uh, to himself so these guys i mentioned whether it was batak whether it was element whether it was this guy nazariah taught many 
but ultimately ended up being unprofitable to themselves. And the main thing that they all lacked was what? Humility. They lacked uh, humility, man. Because that goes a long way in this truth. Right? Being humble. You see? And uh, when the Lord gives you examples of that, those, those examples become ingrained into your mind. Right? As something uh, not to be. Right? So, I say all that to say this. That the times that uh, we're coming coming into, man, we got to remain humble, man. Because you got the example of Moses who, and if any brother can post a scripture, basically uh, said that he got the water, I believe, out of the rock so he can give the people to drink. But he did give the glory and the credit to Yahweh Shai, right? The Most High at that time. Uh, and he ended up not being able to see uh, crossing over to actually get into the promised land. I believe the Lord told him he can only see it with his eyes. So, hey, when it comes to the praise and the honor and the humility, the Lord ain't playing, man. He's absolutely uh, not playing. It's the Lord's chess game. And uh, humility is a key to winning that game, man. Humility is a key to winning that game. Because uh, a, the Lord can remove your, 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 your candle in a moment's notice. The, the now elder, the now uh, uh, leader of GM in Chicago, the elder Malcolm, always always says the same thing, man. He, he prays that prayer that the Lord take not uh, his Holy Spirit from him, man. Which is a beautiful thing to always ponder on and a beautiful thing to always uh, talk about because we're basically <clears throat> at the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Right? We are at his mercy. And when you really understand that, it's not about how many precepts you can uh, remember, uh, you know, how many, uh, you know, articles you can break down, even how many videos you can do. Because uh, when you go into the scriptures, it tells us that this thing is a gift, lest any man should boast, right? It is a gift. So you got to be appreciative of that gift, and you shouldn't be puffed up because of that gift, right? That shouldn't be. We play our position. We play our role. We, we, we uh, repent daily. Right? We repent daily. All for the hopes. Right? We're prisoners of hope. The hope of getting delivered. You know? So, uh, I got one more scripture I'm thinking of. It's, the, uh, it's in, in, in 1 Corinthians. Basically, uh, they that run all in a race, you know, they that run in a race, run all, I meaning you give it, give it your all. And it says, uh, one receiveth the prize. All right. So you must, uh, uh, run that you obtain. All right. And you're not doing this thing, uh, in the wrong spirit. You know, I'm just, I'm just quoting that scripture. I, I, I it's not verbatim. Basically, you're not doing this thing in the wrong spirit to obtain a, a, a corrupted crown, as it says. Right? You're doing this thing because uh, hey, you really whole, wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly believe in it. That's why you're here. That's why you're preaching the gospel. That's why you steadfast in it. Because you really believe in this thing. All right? You really believe in this thing. With, without, you know, I've seen brothers have been put out. And guess what? They still went on the highways and byways. They still did the work because they truly uh, believe in this gospel, in this word. All right? They truly do. But uh, that was just a, a quick testimony that I wanted to speak about because uh, when I heard the Apostle Recall, you know, talk about all his uh, memories, which, you know, I, I used to love when the Apostles used to do that back in the day when they had the sit downs in the uh, Apostle Tahar's, uh, I believe, house and they had the end of the world background. And they were going to like 22 parts of a subject. It was man, it was a lot of eating back then, man. <laughs> Still is a day, but they used to go, you know, go deep back then, man. They had the editing in the videos, this and that. But the spirit, we into a new spirit, man. This thing is wrapping up. But uh, you know, and those guys would speak on their experiences, man. Cause experience uh, count for a lot. I can't think of the scripture. Uh, but it talk talks about a man of experience, all right. And those are certain things you can't take away, and it makes you move differently 
because uh, uh, you, you, you have that experience now, man. You don't keep making the same uh, mistakes over and over and over again, right? But that's pretty much the point. I don't want to ramble on. Hope some edification came out of this. Want to give all glory, praise, and honor to you. How about Shimei? I was shy. Shalom, the next time.